What is the best 3D print filament for things that are going to be outside? We're talking outdoor use. When it comes to 3D printing projects that will be exposed to the elements, choosing the right filament is crucial. Because if you think about it, these 3D prints or the filament they're made of, they have to be able to withstand the heat and also the sun. And Mother Nature can be a real... So the first choice, which is mainly the most popular one, is PETG, or sometimes called PETG. It is frequently recommended for outdoor projects due to its excellent durability and ease of use. One of my good friends, he prints a lot of camera mounts out of PETG, and they have withstood the state's cold winters and hot summers for several years. And they haven't showed any signs of degrading. PETG has a resilience to extreme temperature variations, making a dependable choice for long-term outdoor applications. And I wish I could have got him on this video, but, you know, he's an introvert sitting in his basement and doesn't want to be on camera, I guess. Another thing to consider is going with opaque PETG because it's preferred over semi-translucent variants for outdoor use. And the reason is because that opaque PETG can handle the UV exposure a lot better, which is going to reduce the risk of yellowing and maintain, maintaining its structural integrity over time. The second most commonly used type of filament for outdoor use is ASA. It stands out for its excellent UV resistance, making it an ideal filament for objects that will be exposed to direct sunlight. ASA is also noted for its minimal warping and stringing during the printing process, but it might require the use of an enclosure to ensure optimal print quality. You hear about that a lot. People trying to print ASA, depending on the height of your print, you may have to do an enclosure for temperatures. So bringing these two types of filaments together, PETG versus ASA, while both PETG and ASA are excellent choices, there are some differences that might influence your decision. If your prints are going to be getting a lot of UV resistance, ASA is superior to PETG in terms of UV stability. If your project will be in direct sunlight for extended periods, ASA is probably a better choice. But that being said, PETG is generally easier to print with than ASA because that might require an enclosure to prevent warping. Also, another thing to consider, PETG is typically more affordable and widely available compared to ASA. So hopefully this video helped you figure out the best filament for your 3D printing stuff that's going to be used for outdoor use. This is a tough one, guys. I wish you the best of luck and consider subscribing. And also hit me up in the comments if you have any further questions. Questions. I'm a normal dude and I actually do reply unlike a lot of other youtubers. Let's take it off the plate here All right, man, this thing's cool, right guys? Look at this thing. Let's go test it out. This thing is beastly All right, which sword do you want? Um, Big one or small one? Small. Small one? All right, let's battle <laughs> <laughs> Oh no broke, we'll put it back together. <laughs> How did that break? You win.